Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to use the Pythagorean theorem to, to show that two vectors are perpendicular to one another. So let us take an example in here. In this example, if we have two vectors and if u is a vector with the components of those are 1, 0 and there is another vector v which has components 0, 2 we want to use the Pythagorean theorem to show that these two vectors are orthogonal or perpendicular to one another. Just, to, just for our clarity, I'm going to uh, represent these two vectors in, in, uh, in terms of a graph here. If this is the x-axis and if this is the y-axis and, and this is the origin, if I were to pick some points in here, if I were to pick some points on this, this is 1, 2, 3. Uh, let me make it a little bigger than that so that way we will see. Okay, so let us say um, this is 1 and that is 2. Let us say this is 1 and then that is 2. Okay. Then vector u has 1 comma 0 so that means we're going to travel uh, one unit on the positive x-axis and then on the y-axis 0 comma 2 so that is going to be 0 and then 2 will be right there so that will be this point here will be 1 comma 0 this point here and then this point here is going to be 0 comma 2 like that. If we were to join these two points this is a right triangle. These two vectors are perpendicular to one another. These two vectors are perpendicular to one another. So let us that is how we we, we when we draw it out on the graph sheet we see that those two vectors are perpendicular but using the theory um, of uh, orthogonal vectors, we will see whether we can arrive at that same answer. Okay, so according to the Pythagorean theorem, if, uh, if we can represent this as follows: vector u, this is step number one. Step number one. In here, according to the Pythagorean theorem, vector u plus vector v, the magnitude of that raised to the power of 2 is going to be equal to vector u, the magnitude of vector u raised to the power of 2 plus the magnitude of vector v, vector v raised to the power of 2. If we call this as the left hand side and if we call this as the right hand side, we will, we will take the left hand side and then show that the value what we obtain there is equal to what the value what we obtain on the right hand side okay let's get started so we'll call that as step two and in step two we're looking at the left hand side of the equation the left hand side of the equation is is this vector u plus vector v uh, how do we do that vector u the components are one comma zero and plus the ve vector v, the components are 0, comma 2. When we add these two vectors, 1 plus 0, comma, 0 plus 2. Though that is the way we can we combine them. So 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 2 is, t is 2. So 1, comma 2. It comes, uh, comes down to 1, comma 2. We want to find the magnitude of this. Vector u plus vector v, the magnitude of that is going to be equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared, isn't it? 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, so therefore square root of 5. This is going to be square root of 5. But we want the magnitude of u plus v, this whole thing raised to the power of 2. So this is going to be square root of 5, whole thing raised to the power of 2, and that is going to be equal to 5. So we'll keep that information. Then we'll go to the right-hand side. And the right-hand side in here, 
we'll call that as step 3 and then we're looking at the right hand side of the equation the right hand side of the equation we're going to take vector vector u take the magnitude of that and that is going to be 1 squared plus 0 squared therefore 1 plus 0 that's going to be square root of 1 therefore the value is equal to 1 and the the vector v if we want to find the magnitude of that we're going to take the components of that which is 0 squared plus 2 squared that is going to be 0 plus 4 therefore the square root of 4 that is going to be equal to 2 what we need here is what we need here is uh, in here we want to find the value of uh, the magnitude of u raised to the power of 2 which is going to be 1 squared which is which is equal to 1 and then similarly the magnitude of v raised to the power of 2 is going to be 2 squared which is equal to 4 therefore um, when we combine these using these the right hand side the expression on the right hand side is vector u the magnitude of vector u raised to the power of 2 plus the magnitude of vector v raised to the power of 2 is going to be equal to 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5 as we can see then therefore that a will write that as step number 3 therefore we see that vector u plus vector v the magnitude of that raised to the power of 2 is exactly equal to magnitude of u raised to the power of 2 plus magnitude of v raised to the power of 2 so uh, on the left hand side the value uh, we obtained for these two vectors was equal to 5 and and the value for uh, the the simplified form on the right hand side of the equation we got that as equal to 5 therefore the left hand side is exactly equal to the right hand side and therefore the Pythagorean theorem is useful and uh, applicable to vectors as well okay so in my next presentation we shall look at some more examples related to orthogonal vectors and using Pythagorean theorem